Welcome back to another EDH deck tech uh, and my continuation into uh, mono black. Um, so I wanted to do something a bit different today. Um, I generally try to build my decks, you know, decently strong, I guess, uh, you know, LGS kind of strength, um, where I can take it to an LGS, it synergizes really well, all that kind of stuff. I don't really might like to make too many, uh, I guess, jank uh, decks um, normally because, uh, you know, I find that sometimes, you know, those cards aren't as fun. But I thought, you know, I've built a lot of black decks. I wanted to do something a bit different. Um, I still had Voltron and Infect on my list to go. Um, so I thought, okay, let's kind of do Voltron. Um, how does a mono black deck win with Voltron? Well, some Infect. Um, so I kind of, you know, mixed that uh, together, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, so this is my Corlash Air to Black Blade uh, deck. Um, as you, as already kind of presumed, uh, it is a Voltron deck. Um, I've always kind of liked Corlash, um, a because it really represents uh, Mono Black in terms of it cares about swamps and uh, swamps. Uh, the best card in mono black. Um, I love playing Swamp. It's one of my favorite cards. So I tried to have a bit of fun with this one. Um, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily uh, overly competitive. Um, you know, it has all the same weaknesses as uh, Voltron does, um, but mono black doesn't really have a lot of things that helps uh, those weaknesses. In addition, I also play uh, a lot of cards that uh, really they're there because they care about swamps. Um, so there's a lot of cards that really mention swamps or care about swamps. Um, so I've got uh, some of them, not all of them. There were some from um, um, portals and things like that. They were a bit older that were just were generally just bad cards um and then there were some cards that uh care about swamps but they were focused around discarding people's hands or exiling people's graveyards so those i didn't uh go with but uh anything that was uh, you know recently printed um and that cared about swamps um i've put into this deck and then of course there's also a sub theme of infect um so voltron i want to be swinging at my opponents um you know Corlash can get actually quite large quite quickly. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I, it has to be a 2-2 when it comes out, um, but sometimes, you know, it can be a, quite a big beater. So, you know, it's going to be your generic, put as many equipments on as possible, um, and then swing out and, and try to get one of those infect cards to kind of take opponents out. Um, and then hopefully, you know, your 21-21 your um, can uh, finish the job. But, you know, it has all the weaknesses of Voltron. Um, this one has been one that's been fun to play with, um, but really kind of requires a play group. And I think, you know, you just need to be happy that you've swung out and hit some people and maybe take taken somebody out before you yourself are taken out uh, but I've loved the th uh, like the themes of this deck um, the cinematography of this deck I guess is the word um, you know I just like this uh, zombie warrior or armored up swinging out at people so I've liked that idea as well um, so I've had a lot of fun with the creativity um, of this one. So we'll go through it. So Corlash, uh, great. You know, it's going to uh, get pumped up with how many swamps. Has Grandeur, but that's not really going to affect us in Commander. Has a nice regenerate, so it can protect itself. Um, so sometimes it does come up, but there are occasions where, you know, regenerate is just not going to do much. So we'll go through the deck. Okay, so like I said, uh, Voltron, uh, we've got uh, O Naganata, um, just really cheap. Uh, it's going to meet the three power claws quite regularly. Um, and the plus three, uh, plus O, and Trample's really nice. So Trample's going to be really good for Infect, um, as well as getting that damage in. Uh, Vorpal Sword. Vorpal Sword I have a lot of fun with. Uh, so Vorpal Sword, uh, plus two in Death Touch. Death Touch is great because it's going to really deter them from blocking. Uh, we're going to have such a large creature, hopefully with Trample and Death Touch. You know, we can assign just that one damage, which is great. Um, and, you know, we are a Swamp decks. We have, a, you know, Swamp Doublers and, and things like that. So 
uh, you know, that eight mana to uh, win the game can, well, for that play to lose the game, sorry, uh, can be uh, important. Black Blade Reforge. I mean, this is air to Black Blade. Come on. Uh, it has to be in this deck, no doubt. Uh, but it itself is just a really good card. You know, we want to be playing lands. We want to be hitting those lands drops. We don't really have a lot of um, things to help us put extra lands into play because we're mono black. But, you know, if Corlash is a 5-5, five, five, for instance, and you're putting this on, you know, it's now a 10-10. Um, so it's going to be just double whatever Corlash is already, which is great. Uh, cranial plating we play a lot of artifacts um, we're gonna pump that up this one's just a nice cheap one to kind of start the ball rolling um, the instance being attached not really too relevant because we don't have that many other creatures uh, but it can get uh, out of control quickly and it's just nice and cheap mask of everson so this one's to add a bit of protection uh you know it's got an expensive equip uh but you know we need protection on call because you know people will be targeting it um or be trying to get rid of it so you know we want to at least have some hex proof um to allow us some protection swift foot boots again same thing it's only here for protection uh and the haste is quite nice so we can start swinging out you know if it gets later in the game that's great uh sword of animus uh, another one, this one's this one's really good in this deck. Uh, it's cheap to play, cheap to equip, um, and also pumps up Corlash when we get those swamps out. So, you know, Corlash in theory is going to be a 4-4, four, four, and then, you know, you pump it, it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. Um, so it's quite quite nice, and we want to get those lands out on the battlefield. Trailblazer's Boots, uh, just pretty much here to give Unblockable. Uh, you know, we want to be hitting with that Infect. We want to be hitting with that Commander damage. You know, the typical Voltron um, way to go. Uh, so, you know, non-basic Landwalk is essentially Unblockable. Um, yeah. At least in this format. Okay, uh, Chariot of Victory. Uh, another one where it's here to give us keywords, uh, first strikes, great, uh, tramples, really what we want, and haste, um, so really, really nice, uh, it has a very cheap equip cost, uh, so it doesn't give us any bonus in, um, stats, but, you know, our swamps will be doing that for us, um, uh, but we want, we want things like trample, we want things like haste, um, so, yeah, and just cheap equip costs. Okay, uh, Demonic Embrace, not a artifact, but this one kind of is the part of the Voltron uh, package. Um, so we're going to increase uh, our stats, which is what we want. Um, it is recurrable, so we, if you know if it drops off, we can just discard a card um, and we can get it on. Uh, it also gets flying, so that evasion is what we want. You know, we want unblockable, we want flying, we want all those kind of things to get that damage in. All right, Fire Shrieker, <laughs> great. Um, it's relatively cheap for its effect, so it's going to give us double strike. So, you know, three mana to equip. Um, uh, Call Ash, you know, might be a 5-5, five, five, and then so it's going to be striking in for 10. So uh, if you play Call Ash on 4, play this on 5, equip it, um, you know, it can have effect some way. Um, you know, you're going to be hitting that uh, commander damage pretty quickly. So double strike, great, and it just gets even stronger uh, the longer the game goes. Haunted Cloak. Uh, another one, that's, this one's just to give uh, stats. This one gives Vigilance um, rather than... Um, chariot which gave first strike that's right so vigilance is also really good because uh we want to deter people from attacking us so if we have a big blocker um that's quite nice um as opposed to first strikes you know less relevant um vigilance is really nice to deter people from attacking us locks it on warhammer love this one uh tramples what we want lifelink is really really nice again to kind of help buffer our um life total uh and the plus three plus O is also really nice mask of grizzle brand um i mean this deck has been great to just kind of like play cards that i really really like to play uh, and this card yeah i've really enjoyed it uh flying lifelink so flying that's evasion is what we want lifelink again to buffer our life total um and if it dies you know i get to draw some cards so that's you know a nice alternative it is a bit expensive to equip uh, but decks like this you know just play you know the equipment that you just find fun um, and this is definitely one of them. I think it's thematically 
really interesting um and such a cool card okay uh strata side uh another one this one's so lands mana so our swamps mana um it will exile essentially when it comes in it's going to exile swamp and then we have pretty much almost all all swamps so uh it's essentially just going to double call that it's kind of like another um blade uh black blade reforge uh, essentially um with a little bit uh, of an extra uh a little bit more expensive i guess but um yeah it essentially does the same thing just you know doubles core lash sort of vengeance uh plus two plus oh great uh first strike great vigilance is what we want trample haste fantastic card lots of fun this one all right wand of orcas this one is really shot up i guess for the zombie players um you know which i i respect uh but it's crane here because first of all uh it is call is a zombie so that's great um so we're gonna get death touch uh so that's what we want we want trample and death touch um and then we're going to create a bunch of two two zombies which we also want to help uh block um as well as uh you know be there for some sacrifice fodder um if our opponents are forcing us to sacrifice we want zombies there to just sacrifice rather than call lash so you know all that just really really cool card <laughs> really cool card to play <laughs> okay lash right um another one that's like a black baby reforge where it's just going to be equal to your swamps which is what you want um uh, then with that and then of course it's an easy cheap equip we'll just pay the life that's fine there's no problems with that um that equip cost so it's just four mana just to essentially double uh call lash great uh, Nightmare Lash, another one where it's pretty much the same thing, uh, but uh, you've, you're just going to pay three life rather than the, the four life. Um, so, you know, we have a lot of swamps. Uh, it's going to be really, really powerful. It's essentially, you know, doubling Core Lash. So a lot of equipment are there because they're just going to double Core Lash. All right, and uh, honorary mention, um, Brass Squire. Um, one of the few effects like this in Mono Black, I think this actually might be the only one in Mono Black, um, as you find this effect more in white and red. Um, so we want to be able to attach equipment. So some of them have, you know, like three mana attach uh, equip costs. So, you know, we want to kind of negate that. So getting this down early before Core Lash and then being able to equip those. Um, also at instant speed, uh you know it's really beneficial um so i love this little guy this little guy great um okay so now i've gone so i've gone through the equipment to kind of help with the voltron um try to pump core lash now i've gone into the other swamp matters there are some equipment that is swamp matters um you know it's some of those um bigger equipments uh but this one the rest of the section for this is is uh swamp swamps matters essentially you know does it refer to swamps are swamps important to this card then it's you know in um some of them you know are good some of them less good um but you know they, they've made the cup um some of them will be removal some of them will be all you know other things so uh defile straight up uh we have a lot of swamps so it's essentially you know destroy uh creature instant speed one uh mana uh you know indestructible it's going to get around indestructible all that kind of stuff you know we have a lot of swamps so it's okay uh walking atlas uh put a swamp into play um we again there's not too many ways for us to get more swamps than our one swamp a turn um so we do want to try to get around that um this is the only way in mono black to do that um so you know we've got this little guy great to get down as early as possible burnished heart uh you know you put it out sacrifice it get more swamps um if you know this is out and you fetch for your swamps then call ash is you know going to get bigger as well at in instant speed shade form another enchantment that i've i just love uh to play um you know i've put some some pet cards in here um shade form i've always liked the shade effect it's not very good but i've always liked the idea um so you know essentially you get the one uh pay one black you know plus one plus one till end of turn um so you know and it can, it can come back so that's quite nice uh yeah 
I just, yeah, yeah, quite like this card. Love everything about it, the art, all of it. Uh, Crypt Gas, double those swamps. You know, that's what we want to want. That's what we want to do. Um, we want as many swamps and double those swamps. Um, so, yeah, we want to get as much mana, especially when we're getting into some of the higher equip costs. We want to do that. And Extort's nice to buffer the life total. Crypt Presence, when a swamp comes in, you can either draw a card or uh, deal two, gain two. Um, so quite nice. Good, good for the draw card there's not too many um draw effects in this deck so it's nice uh, but we are essentially playing a swamp a turn liliana of the dark realms uh it fetches swamps out of our deck so we're always going to have those swamps um the alt is very hard to get to um you know if you get to that alt, you're probably already winning the game so it's not too relevant uh plus the um the middle effect is based off your swamp. So again, you know, but we want to get those swamps. We're going to get as many swamps on the on the battlefield. You want to play almost always a swamp as opposed to anything else. So um, great for fetching them out. Mutilate. Everything gets a negative one, negative one. I, I play this anyway in a mono black deck. It doesn't have to be swamps or not. Um, but it's going to be even more powerful in this. And I mean, the good thing is if you have an equipment that's going to buff... Uh, call Ash toughness, then you, Call Ash will always be fine because you know their total, their toughness should always equal the same as what Mutilate can do. Um, so as long as your toughness is is a little bit bumped up, then uh, you should be good. Uh, so essentially, gets rid of everything but Call Ash, which is nice. Uh, so I can get to swamp. Yeah, I think you you've, you've understood what's going on here as well as some draw. Um, Squelching Leeches, not really a good card, <laughs> but it cares about swamps. Um, and I, I like the art, uh, I thought it was it was pretty cool. So um, again, this is another one where, you know, if Colash is getting too big, uh, you know, it's getting too hard to, to cast it, you can put it on here and it's essentially a pseudo um, Colash. So that's quite nice. Magus of the Coffers, um, it, uh, it's going to create Black Matter for each swamp we have. So it's good little ramp. Um, you know, it's not that great of a card in general. You know, it's five mana, it's expensive, and it has to survive a turn. Uh, but, uh, you know, if it does and you're playing in, you know, the kind of right pod, um, it's going to help you really accelerate some of those uh, equipment equips because some of them can be quite expensive. Corrupt, <laughs> another one. Uh, it's just going to do damage equal to swamps, and then you're going to get that life back. So it's great, but six mana, very expensive to play. Um, you know, you would play almost any removal over this, but it cares about swamps, and that's what I like. Nightmare uh, has evasion, which is nice. So it's like the the, the leeches, but um, uh, that's about it. Uh, how this was a rare, don't know. Um, I guess for draft purposes, but um, really cool. Cares about swamps thematically. Super cool with Corlash, you know, Corlash riding a, a nightmare steed. Um, I'm there for it. Nakana Revenant, another one just to double swamps. Um, this one's, you know, one of the more expensive cards. Um, I, I did have, like, it wasn't a strict budget, but I did kind of go for things that, um, you know, were on the cheaper side. Uh, but uh, this one, you know, is a metal doubler. It cares about swamps, so it made the cut. Uh, Quag Stignis, uh, another one. <laughs> this one's, you know, it's three mana, essentially, you know, destroy a creature. Um, yeah, you know, again, you would play a, re a different removal over this, but it cares about swamps, so it makes a cut. And then Tendrils of Corruption, another one, four mana, um, like Corrupt, um, instant speeds, nice. Uh, yeah, cares about swamps, it's in. We, we do want a lot of removal to get rid of those um, creatures, you know, that are going to get in the way, flyers or um, anything, you know, with Vigilance that we, we just can't deal with. Um, you know, we want to get rid of them. So we need some removal to get rid of those blockers that are going to get in our way uh, when we think that they're going to block with it, you know, if they're bigger than, than Call Ash. You know, we need removal. Um, okay, and then Infect. So I didn't want to build an Infect deck. Um, you know, I, I find that a lot of my opponents didn't really particularly like that. Um, but... You know, sprinkle a little bit of infect here and there, and uh, people 
some people enjoy it um i guess i would say all people your opponent that loses that to infect on that turn probably won't uh but uh in general i found people's capacity for a little bit of infect a lot more tolerable than uh an infect deck um so so yeah so tainer strike super cheap uh gives a little little buff and and then infect uh so it's great if you know he's a nine nine or, or he's like a, a four five four four uh you know and i'm gonna double his attack and, and things like that so you know tries to give it a little bit more bump uh glistening oil so very interesting one so it's going to just give call Ash infect um and at the start of my turn you're going to put uh, an account on it and it's going to get negative one negative one uh but the idea is that you play this when call Ash is 10 like a 10 10 or you know five five but it's doubled or something like that i don't know uh you know you'll work out the mess but um you know if you're playing a swamp every turn then it's essentially going to negate this effect and all you need to do is stay in at 10. um so quite nice super cheap uh phoresis another one just put it on on him so that uh you know he has the effect nice and cheap uh and then grafted exoskeleton Oof, so good um you know when it becomes unequipped uh when we don't really have any effects to do that so it's more if your opponents um are going to destroy it um you know but plus two plus two and in fact you know essentially means that yeah we we only need eight or four doubled for instance uh things like that so uh you know it's relatively easy to get to 10 10 with this okay some protection so we definitely need protection regenerate is just not enough um it's not going to be enough um so kai's ghost form uh it's great super cheap it's going to come back uh from the battlefield so that's that's what we want uh we don't care if it's a different object coming back you know so um it being call ash it's going to come back we can then re-equip everything and and go for it so that added protection essentially you're going to kill twice uh Malachi rebirth same thing you're going to lose life um but it's a land on the other side it's not a swamp so that's important to note obviously but um you are going to get that creature back which is what you want imps mischief just a fun card um it's again for those single target removal uh effects that your opponents might have um just to you know kind of gotcha kind of thing and then a rush of vitality uh, another one indestructible so you know we want some of these effects to to make um call action indestructible especially if there's a destroy uh, effect going on we would want this on our turn as much as possible but it is also there to be um you know defensive as well uh, and then unlikely aid same thing plus two and gains indestructible so uh for two mana instant uh again yeah we want to make it as indestructible as possible if i had some equipment i didn't really have the budget for the equipment that made him indestructible uh, but that would be the first thing that i would add uh sudden spoiling just here to protect us in general rather than um uh call ash i guess if someone's swinging out at us we can protect ourselves um but uh yeah as well as maybe we're swinging out at them and we've got trample and they've got big some big boys um you know we can lower their toughness essentially and then trample over maybe something like that okay some draw um so we do need some draw effects in here uh obviously to kind of get some of those uh swamps on the battlefield uh so sign of blood pretty much always in my decks knight's whisper same thing you draw two uh Phyrexia arena another fine one you get an extra card every turn uh read the bones another one very similar to knight's uh whisper and sign of blood kind of keep them all together uh greed i had in this one just something just to because sometimes i found that i had just that extra mana sitting around um you know and just an extra few like one or two swamps here and there um and if they were if you know there wasn't really a board where they were targeting call ash um i could just put some some mana into into greed so i thought that might be good for um to get some cards out Okay, and then just generic removal that didn't really make the it's a mana, swamps mana kind of card. Um, so Feed the Swamp deals with, you know, some enchantments and things like that, especially if they are in prison, in prison in the moon, you know, Corlash. It's going to be a tough game. So Feed the Swamp, really good. 
uh, toxic deluge another one so again you can work the the negative x negative x to try and keep your call ash alive if possible um you know call ash can get pretty big um pretty quickly so you can kind of work out you know what what life you need to pay uh, and then Phyrexian Scriptures, I, I wanted board wipes that didn't really affect uh, Call Ash. Now, I could have went with like Ingaric's Wake or Kindred Dominance even, uh, things like that. But I went with this one, Chiba. It kind of fit the artifact theme. So I'm making Call Ash an artifact zombie. Um, and then, you know, it's going to destroy all non-artifact creatures, which is great. And then exile other people's cards. So, um, you know, not really a card I would normally play, but I thought this felt like a good spot for it uh, but you could put in other board wipes maybe ones that you know don't affect your commander for instance um then yeah but i thought i'd play it all right some ramp dark ritual right you know all black uh soul ring typical wayfarer's bubble uh it gets a swamp so pretty easy uh arcane signets Felwa Stone, all cheap mana rocks, trying to uh, get um, Call Ash out in turn three. So, you know, you play that two mana mana rock, Call Ash can then come out. Uh, Mind Stone, Thought Vessel. Um, so, yeah, just with the, the ramp, just all two mana rocks uh, to get Call Ash out uh, as soon as possible. But, I mean, Call Ash will be small. Um, so, obviously, keep that in mind, especially if you're ramping up, because the most it'll be is a 3-3 three, three on turn 4 um, not particularly scary um, so you know try to play your, your ramp at appropriate times but uh, we'll play call ash at appropriate times I guess uh, but yeah uh, Tormento Hellfire just because we can with mana doublers and Magus of the Coffins and stuff like that we can get a lot of um, mana in our pool so just as a bit of an alternative win condition you know just torment people out I love this card Okay, some lands. Um, so we do have a little room for some utility lands. Um, so Bajuga Bog, you know, makes all the cuts pretty much. Um, so, you know, you want to exile people's graveyards, great. Uh, Cabal Stronghold, we've got a lot of swamps. A lot of swamps. More swamps in this deck than any other deck I've made. Um, so this card kind of gets turned on. Uh, Ghost Quarter, I play a land destruction land in every deck. Um, so... You know, uh, with, depending on the budget, this could be a strip mine, um, but this one's the, the budget is a bit lowered. Um, so, yeah, I've just got a ghost quarter. Uh, Myriad Landscape, it gets swamps. Pretty easy. Uh, Shizu Death Storehouse, uh, you know, giving fear is quite nice. Um, you need to obviously pick your opponent and whether it is applicable or not to get fear, um, but essentially it's to make it you know, uh, unblockable. So, uh, you know, pick where you need to go for that. Um, so yeah. And then war room, just as another draw, give me a draw card. Um, you could put uh, castle Lothwain in here, uh, but I don't have that many black pip requirements because I've got a lot of, um, uh, artifacts in play. So I did go with this one, um, essentially, you know, f this three mana and this for, uh, and one life for drawing a card. Um, this one I need to test more because essentially this could just be a swamp. Um, but I've been liking that, that additional card drop because I don't have a lot. Um, so, you know, if you're playing this deck, you might need to pick and choose. Uh, Urborg to my Yorgmoth. Um, so, you know, I did try to lower the budget down a bit. There's no Cabal Coffers, for instance. Cabal Coffers obviously would be a fantastic card in this deck, but I did try to lower the budget a bit. But I felt like Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, um, yeah, just fit uh, so much better because obviously it's making all my land swamps. Uh, all my opponents have swamps. Everyone has swamps. Um, I want as many swamps for everyone. I'm, I'm the Oprah of swamps. Um, so, yeah, I thought this one felt a bit more appropriate. Um, and then it's uh, 30, 30 swamps. So, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of swamps um, because we want to be getting those swamps out. Um, so, yeah, cool. Ash, been fun. Um, this is my first time ever playing um, Voltron. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun um, swinging out at people. People don't particularly like to be swing, swung at, um, but it definitely... 
it makes the game much more interesting for yourself because it's so much harder um and you have to protect your commander in so many points um and it's so commander centric um it adds a lot of um yeah complexity and a lot of uh, definitely interest in the game because i'm constantly focused on how is my commander going to die this turn i as long as it doesn't die then i'm doing the thing i want to be doing but if it dies then it really really sets you back um so it's been a lot of fun and just trying to figure out okay when should i keep up regenerate as opposed to trying to push my advantage further has also been um an interesting question to ask each turn um is this the time that somebody's going to take out my commander am i looking too threatening things like that um so a lot of complexity uh that i've enjoyed um you know it's not your typical deck that people will play um so it's nice to have something a bit uh different on on the battlefield all right uh that's my video thank you very much for watching uh i'll see you in the next one